Tonight, I find the hunters. Tristan resists. And Max is slow. How is this gauntlet faster than mine? We both have a gauntlet. It's Manhunt Checkpoint! Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays, where we're playing Manhunt Checkpoint, just for a change. And I'm sort of out looking for a car, um, because I currently don't have one. There weren't really any parked around where I was standing, so I could, that I... Well, there weren't really any parked around where I was standing at all, so let's go over and get that um, Dodge Challenger over there. That'll do. Um, Dominator, I think they're called in this game. <coughs> they're pretty quick. They're a good, muscle, good, sort of nice, powerful muscle car, so it'll hopefully... Oh, no, this is a Gauntlet. Sorry, never mind. Either way, looks like a, still looks like a Challenger to me. Okay, so... We are playing Manhunt Checkpoint. That's where I trundle around the city and the hunters try to catch me. We only have three hunters today because um, it's a bit of a sort of a, a, la a short note. We, we, we didn't leave, give very much notice that we we're going to have a have a, a session, um, but because I'm not going to be, able, I'm, I'm busy quite a lot in the over the next few weeks. We thought we'd just squeeze an extra one in here anyway on a Sunday. So I uh, so because of that, we've dropped it down to only one checkpoint, which means I don't get to choose which is the easier of the checkpoints to take. I just have to go for the one that's given to me. Um, and. The hunters have to try and stop me. Simple as that. Um, we've got the uh, slightly, we've got the 70s mode turned on with the colour schemes at the moment, which means if any cars pop up in that sort of boring 2010, 2020s shades of grey that seems to be so popular at the moment, um, then they get automatically recolored in a, in a random non-greyscale colour. So no grey cars, and yes, that does include blacks and whites. They're, they're boring as well. Got to try and keep things a bit more interesting. That said, as I said, this is sort of 70s mode, which is where um, Colors are not only does it assign the prime, the main color of the car randomly, it also assigns the secondary color randomly. So you end up with these sort of this brown on green, or over there we've got a blue roof on a green car. It's all a bit, it's all a bit hideous and a bit 70s. Um, we might calm this down a little bit in the future. We shall see how it goes. We are still hiding the checkpoints from the hunters, though, so they know that I've got various places that I'm trying to get to around the city. And to be honest, they know where all the checkpoints are because we've played this game so much now, and we haven't added any in any new checkpoints. Although we were talking about that earlier, because I think it is probably about time we did. So they do know where all the checkpoints are, but they don't know which particular one I'm going for. So I'm going to carry on through here. I'm good. I don't think you saw me running, nearly running the red light there. So. There are a few things that give me away to the hunters. Um, there's of course the circle on the map that tells them roughly where I am, gives them an idea of roughly where in the city they should be looking. There's, um, but then they also, then once they've got into that area of the city, they'll watch out for sort of certain bits of behaviour that will give me away. One of them is running red lights like I did just then. But another one is if there's lots of cars build up around me, um, because that, that is also a, a, a sort of a suspicious thing. Because um, because the way GTA spawns cars in, players tend to be surrounded by them. Uh, so if they see a lot of cars in one area, they're going to get very, very suspicious of it. And they're going to come and investigate. So I don't really want to be surrounded by a huge queue of cars. And for very different reasons from the way I, I feel about that. Way, I, I'd want that in real life. It's a lot more dangerous. So yeah, they will be watching out for big queues of cars. They'll be watching out for... Um, suspicious behavior like running red lights or not taking corners very smoothly or just generally not driving like an AI would. They'll probably also be out on the look for, look out for um, particularly good cars as well or cars that don't fit in with a particular area of the city they're in. So this gauntlet, and a gauntlet actually, muscle cars tend to crop up most in most places so I think I'm probably going to be alright with this. Probably. No guarantee. Um, we shall see. Um, but there's nobody around here, so I'm just going to grab this checkpoint and then turn turn right, which you can do on a red light in, in the Americas, so that's um, that's probably all right. Then I'll stop at this red light. There's a green light. Let's carry on going then. Try not to get too much wheel spin out of the car, because that again is another thing that AIs do sometimes do it. There are lots of things that AIs sometimes do, like drive in or out of car parks or spin their wheels or um, other things like that. Um, how dance the radio, that sort of thing. Um, but they all look suspicious, and if I'm seen doing them, it doesn't matter if AIs also do that sort of thing as well sometimes. The fact that the hunters have spotted me doing it and got suspicious means I'm in trouble. Now this is the problem with the garish car colours thing. 
those two cars look a lot like Tristan and Mark because there's a purple and there's a green one. It's not the right shade of green and the purple one has different colours on the roof but still it's um, it's enough to make me go hmm is that them? That also incidentally is what I mean by the when I talk about the um, queue of cars building up around players. Um, so, so because I was stopped there cars kept spawning in and driving up towards me but they couldn't go anywhere because there was a red light so you end up with a big cloud of cars sitting there. Okay, so the next checkpoint is over at Square of Squares, which is the... Now, I've, I've crossed over the highway. Um, let's keep moving. Um, now I'm on the uh, back on the south side. I don't know where the hunters are. I haven't actually seen any of them yet, this, this run, which is um, probably a good thing, but also a little bit worrying, because it means I don't know where they are. So we'll just have to keep an eye out for them and hope for the best. I have a bit of a theory that sort of keeping moving is is the best way to do this. Even if even if it means running red lights, as long as there, as long as there aren't any hunters actually watching the red lights, then keeping moving means I stay in a away from the hunt. Hopefully, keep moving. I, I stay away from the big clouds of cars that I mentioned, and oh, police car starting to move. That's new. Um, and I stay away from. Um, and it means I'm near the checkpoints, and near the, near where the hunters are looking for less time. At least that's the hope. Um, we'll see how well that works. I reckon if I loop back, back round now and head sort of vaguely towards the checkpoint, they probably won't expect me to do that. But I've got 30 seconds to kill before it tells me where the next checkpoint is. So there's... Oh, shopping centre jump. Okay. Oop, there goes purple in the other direction. So let's go around here and follow that blister. That's Mark over there. Don't be looking this way. He's not looking this way. Excellent. So I need to head up the city a bit now. And remember, they don't know where I'm going. They just know roughly where I am. So if I if I cover a bit of ground like that, then I can sort of make them have to start rush, rushing around the city at high speed. Now, one of the things that occurs to me with these garish colour schemes is eventually the hunters are going to start getting suspicious of... Or they're going to, they, they might remember the bright green uh, gauntlet with a brown stripe on it because it does kind of stick out. I mean, all the cars stick out. But if they notice one and then they realise they keep noticing it, then maybe that'll be a reason for them to attack it. And like I say, they don't need a good reason to attack a vehicle. If it turns out, they just need they just need any reason to be a little bit suspicious. And if they then come along and attack me because of it, then that's my that's a pro definitely a problem for me. So I need to keep. So which is why I'm trying to keep moving, trying to keep covering some ground, trying not to be too suspicious, but trying to find that sort of happy medium between driving around reasonably sensibly but also not getting caught up in a massive queue of cars oops, screech and not doing anything that will give me away he says, spinning his tyres as he moves backwards All right, well I'm going to go through the tunnel there and grab the uh, grab the checkpoint, hopefully um, and I'm going to, as I say, try and keep my eyes out for, for any hunters around here now one of the reasons I tend to sort of start waiting at red lights when I get close to checkpoints there's a couple of reasons one is because there's more likely to be I still psychologically feel like there's more likely to be hunters around the checkpoints um, that's a that's a hangover from the back in the days when the hunters did know where the checkpoints were so I think that's probably not the case anymore but also I don't like to sort of just to go screaming across the city and grab a checkpoint because that feels like cheating because it makes it basically impossible for the hunters to um, to find to, to catch me. So I, I like to think I like to give them at least a bit of time to get into the area where I'm going to try and take a checkpoint. Now here we go. This is this is one of these sort of big queues I'm talking about. Yeah, okay, it's half a dozen cars. Five, one, two, three. Yeah, six cars including me. But here comes Tristan. He's probably going to be suspicious of this queue because it's a queue and he knows there's a checkpoint right there so we'll see how this goes okay he's going up there so I'm gonna go this way I'm gonna keep an eye out behind me I panicked about that blue car because I thought that looked like Max but actually it can't be Max because it was a sports car it was a Feltzer so it can't be him because he's not they're not allowed to use sports cars or supercars um, they're allowed to use anything else they find at the side of the road or on the road in general um, but not those particular, but not sports or supers. So it can't have been, shouldn't have been him. Probably wasn't. I don't think he's cheats. Um, okay, so now that's uh, was that three checkpoints so far? I think it was. So there's two more to go. So far, it's been 
reasonably quiet. Um, oh, Doc's entrance. That's a blooming long way to go. What's the best way to do that? Probably I could head round towards Mirror Parkway. Um, maybe I'm best off trying to get on the highway because it is a long old way down to Doc's entrance. Um, now what's the best way to get on that? Yeah, I could. Yes, if I turn if I turn right here, head back down. Granted, this is going past the checkpoint I just took, but never mind. Uh, the, the hunters will probably have stopped guarding it by now, even if they were, if they were, even were before. Well, Tristan was, we saw him at it. Um, and if I can come down here and get onto the highway, I can't actually legitimately get onto the highway down here. But I can illegitimately, <laughs> I guess is the term. Uh, that's a red light, mate. What are you doing? Yeah, so I can go over the grass over there and drop down onto the highway, which is fine. It will get me onto the highway. Is that Tristan? No, it's got a black black roof. <laughs> I can get onto the highway over there, but it'll look suspicious. That's a purple car parked in the middle of the road. It doesn't have anyone in it, though, so I'm just going to drive around it. Yeah, so I've basically decided I'm not going to drop down onto the highway there because I'm a bit paranoid about there being hunters around here. I don't think there are any, but, you know, it's, it's a bit of a worry. So instead, let's go right here. So I am now going away from the checkpoint. But this is all part of my cunning plan. <laughs> partly to confuse them into... Well, if they if they see the thing moving. Partly to confuse them as to where I'm going. But also because I reckon I can... Yes, I can get onto the highway here. There's nobody behind me. So I'm going to take the, sort of the, the shortcut onto it. That's a much less suspicious way to get on, I reckon. Now, I can put my foot down. I can start doing highway speeds. Um... I say foot, put my foot down. I'm I'm going significantly slower than all the rest of the car. Well, no, I'm going. I'm going trying to go at about the same speed as the other cars around me. Um, he says overtaking a load of them. <laughs> not I'm not doing a very good job of it though. Okay, so if I follow this round, then I can just keep following the highway all the way down towards the, sort of the industrial area and um, uh, the oil fields and that sort of that sort of general area. Now, the thing is, if I get onto the highway and travel a distance at this sort of speed, then the hunters are going to know that I'm on the highway. I'm doing I'm, I'm doing a bit of a highway run. And they, that's going to make them at least a bit suspicious. Um, because... Ooh, let's come off here. <laughs> there we go. And they're going to know that I'm on... They're going to know that I'm, I'm on the highway. So they're going to have an idea that I'm heading down this way. So they'll hurry down this way to try and head me off somewhere. So... I basically, I need to try and do something. I don't want to drop off there because that's into the storm drain. That's looks that'll look really suspicious if I'm spotted in there. But there is an exit up here that I can take. So I come across a couple of lanes here. Like that. Come off here. I don't see anything behind me, so that's good. Then just round here. Okay, now I'm in the industrial area. So it's not far to the docks entrance from here. Um, I just need to get onto this this sort of dual carriageway here, drop down and I can get it from, from here without too much difficulty. So, in the interest of giving the hunters a chance to sort of to get into the area, I'm going to stop at this red light, at least for a moment or two, um, and then try and keep a bit of an eye out for them as well. That's, oh, it's not my green light, I'm going to take it anyway though, because there's a gap in the traffic. Enough of a gap in the traffic. So this one, I've had issues with this checkpoint before. It's been a little bit tricky, tricky to take, usually because the hunters have been here and ready for me. So, given that they don't know where I'm trying to get to, they might think I'm going to oil fields. They might think I'm taking a funny route round to ghetto. They, they could have all kinds of ideas, and they may or may not be right. They may have guessed that I'm going here, and there may be a welcoming committee for me when I when I get there. We'll see how it goes. Problem is, it's one of those checkpoints where you can't really tell what's going on at it until you get very close. But I am now very close. Um, got to the checkpoint. There's nobody around, so I'm going to grab that and head off. Whoop, that's a bit slippery. Up here, there we go, four checkpoints. It's going well. And there's still nobody behind me. I mean, if, if, I, if I do this, if I do a sort of a, a complete stealth run of this, I'm going to be quite smug and quite pleased with myself, even though it's, it's a bit easier than sometimes because there's only three hunters. They are, um, they are, well, they're clearly struggling because we haven't had any chases yet. Um, 
so I do feel not guilty but I feel that they are I'm aware that they are going to struggle a little bit because there's not very many of them um, that said we've got some of the, certainly some of the better um, I don't know or I hesitate to say some of the better hunters although actually I think no Max is definitely our best driver um, so he's so and he is playing at the moment so I've got definitely got him to worry about but um, otherwise the fact there's only three of them does make this a little bit easier that said, this is our second run of the evening, and they caught me without too much... They spotted me a number of times and, and were able to keep up with me and eventually caught me and killed me in the last run. So, yeah. Um, I duped slightly dodgily there. Is that what gave me away? I don't know, but I'm not going to hang around after he's come up and clearly nudged just me like that. So, I'm, yeah, I'm going to try and get out of here. Let's see what the gauntlet can do. Uh, throw down the gauntlet, as it were. Um... I might have a slight straight line speed advantage on him. Um, I'm probably going to lose all of this when we get to a corner though, because partly because um, I suspect his car is going to handle better than mine, but also because I suspect he's going to ha he's, he is going to handle his car better than I am because he's, as I say, I think better, somewhat better at driving than I am. Although that said, I seem to have left him at least a bit behind. Um, oh, that was a badly taken corner. I don't see him. Now let's turn the circle off so that I have a chance of, yeah, if, if I do manage to get away, I can switch to a different vehicle without having too much hassle while I'm doing it. Let's nip into red car park. This is quite a good thing, because there's often a really nice car in here that you can pick up. And at the very least, you can come in here and stop like this for a moment uh, to see if there's anyone else, anyone still chasing you. There aren't any good cars, at least not down here on the ground floor. So I'm going to head up a little bit have a look on the next next floor as well. Um, or, all right, let's take a blister compact. They're they're not great, but they are okay, and they are they are a sports car. Uh, so, yeah, probably work. Probably probably theoretically. Oh, it's unlocked as well. Excellent, even better. So a sports car, which means they should be quick. I'm not convinced they are that quick, but they're not too bad. They're. Uh, and they're reason I think they're reasonably nippy. So yeah, I'm gonna gonna use this. We'll try and get out of the car park without being spotted, and we'll turn the circle back on as well. So being able to turn the circle off is one of the more powerful things I have to help me escape. Um, because as I was saying earlier, the the hunters have got the the circle on the map to help them track me and work out where I'm going. I'm gonna head in completely the wrong direction for a moment, just sort of to throw them off the scent because they don't know where the checkpoint is, as I said. So. Yeah, they've got the um, the circle to help them find me, so they don't they're not left search trying to search the entire city because that would be unreasonable. Um, but the idea of the circle is to help is to help in the, the first phase of the game, the um, the hunting phase where they're looking for me. But not it's not really supposed to help in the pursuit phase when they've spotted me and are then trying to chase me down and catch me. So that's why we now have a system where I can turn the circle off. If I want to. Oh dear, they're suspicious of this queue because there's a lot of cars here. This is unfortunate. Whoa! Because these cars weren't here when I arrived. Okay, so Tristan's clearing off now. He maybe so he's not too okay, I didn't he wasn't suspicious of the blister, that's good. Oh, that was that was that was kind of scary. Um yeah, so there's the sort of the two phases of the game. There's the um hunting where they're looking trying to find me. Uh, and then the pursuit phase where they're chasing me and oh, Mark's back again come on green light I don't like I've forgotten how I've forgotten how long the lights take at five, to do anything at five ways come on um, and this queue is just building up and up and up now the, hopefully the hunters will think it's building up and up because they are they are lurking around here in this area so the cars are, the, all these cars are due to them I I don't know Anyway, as I was saying, so the circle is there to help with the um, the find the hunting phase, um, not the pursuit phase. So turning the circle off while while the pursuit is happening is perfectly acceptable and is what is is the whole point of the turning the circle off feature. Um, and it works quite well, as you can see. I've now managed to I've, I have managed to escape from them. I've changed cars, and I'm about to drop onto the highway. I say drop, I'm about to turn right onto the highway, which actually conveniently is what I wanted to do. Oh dear, I overtook a car, 
that's given me away. I think Mark must have already been slightly suspicious of me because he did follow me. I wonder what gave me away there. Because I think I was behaving reasonably well. But obviously something gave me away. Ooh, slot. Wow, that's a slidey car. Don't be a slidey car, that's bad. How come Mark is so far was so far behind me? I don't understand. He's keeping up okay, but he must just be doing the, the follow and report thing, where um, because there's only one hunter around, he reckons he's probably isn't able, going to be able to... Um, oh dear. There's another hunter. He might reckon that because there's only one hunt, hunter around, he's not going to be able to actually kill me. Someone's got out of the car. Head down, head down, head down. Don't get my tyres, don't get my tyres. This is a sports car, so it doesn't have bulletproof tyres. Oh, ho! Oh, perfectly done! Did you see that? Well, of course you saw that. You're watching the video. That's why you're here. <laughs> I think that might be the first time I've ever managed to nudge a hunter onto the wrong side of the um, of a barrier like that and, in, in order to get away. That's, um, that was really satisfying, though. I'm glad that worked. <laughs> okay, so... Now I need to change vehicles and get to rails cross. And I say I need to, I don't have to, absolutely have to change vehicles. It's just generally a good idea when there's been a chase like this. Maybe a little bit less suspicious. Let's take another blister compact because that actually went quite well. This one is going to be a broken window though. Although it doesn't seem to have drawn pro rendered properly on my screen. But I suspect it is for the hunters. It probably is for the hunters. I certainly can't. Can't, I can't assume it won't, if that makes sense. I've got to assume that it's going to render properly for them. Um, and just be a little bit careful. So, Rails Cross is, as the name implies, where the two railway lines cross. So there it is up ahead of me. I'm going to just run the lights here. And I'm going to just head over. I'm going to grab this one and then just try and get away. Because I think... Th well, I'm definitely out of the chase. I think I just want to grab that and then... Oh, it's green light anyway, so there we go. I can run through there without feeling remotely guilty. Boom. There we go. Right. So now we're in what's called the final hunt. And that means that I have to um, get a certain distance away from the hunters for a certain amount of time in order for it to count as a win. And basically this is there to just... As a, as, as a way of me to prove that I'm not actually being chased at the moment. That I haven't, I didn't just take the uh, checkpoint flat out with a hunter on my tail. Or the hunter didn't spot me taking the checkpoint and are, and are chasing me. I need to then get away from them get and, and get sort of hidden, escaped. Escaped is probably the best way to put it. So I'm just going to hoon up the um, the highway on this side of the uh, this side of the, um, the city. And fairly soon, it, I think it takes about 30 seconds or so. There we go. The hunters all blow up and I win. So, Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. It was um, I feel like that was a fairly quick run because I was pushing fairly hard and I didn't get into too many chases. Um, there'll be, of course, more of these videos coming to come. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. It was in the circle when we talked about it, but you wouldn't have moved that far. There is a purple car about to head out of bounds. So a lot of cars uh, northwest of. Taking something. 
Uh, shopping center jump. Really? Yeah. I'm going through a tunnel. I was there as well. Over to Mirror Park, maybe, or... Oh, what? How did you... How did you survive that? You entirely deserve that. Hey. Oh, fuck off. Don't stand <laughs> in my way. Hey! <laughs> oh. Uh, south, south. of all the fields. Line of cards, then. Uh, green gauntlet branch tribe is running. Yeah, yeah we're just bound. Uh, we were just bound here. Yes, that's him. Uh, cross the train tracks west and following the tram tracks. How is this? How is this gauntlet faster than mine? We both have a gauntlet. Still westbound. He's clearly got a better gauntlet. Oh my god, I crashed into an NPC looking at him on setup. Uh, I'm driving. Uh, we're at the flame or RGP. Uh, it's not a fact now. Oh damn. I'm not on point. I've got a bit of vacation. I've lost this height. Circle is off. Do you have eyes on him? No. Yeah, I think we lost him. Really start paying attention to cars with characters inside. As in, all cars with characters inside. But now, occasionally they spawn um, with invisible characters. So. Ah, fair enough. But when when I spot them, I need to be able to call out this character. Yeah, I might have him. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, uh, highway south, red car park highway. Uh, like a blue purple car like a sedan compact he's ah, not taking the jump but he crashed heading back uh, towards red car park which on side the highway, highway? Uh, yeah on the highway which side correct side uh, so east side, at Red Park, yeah, there. That blue one. This blue one, yeah. I'm out. Uh, heading south again. Uh, yeah. Uh, he's. Taking the off ramp uh, towards east. I was really pleased with the um, that evasion at the end there, where uh, Mark went went on the wrong um, sort of junction yeah. bit. Of <laughs> I pushed you to the other side and then didn't make it myself. <laughs> Go to the other side. I wanted to go where I went, and I. But yeah, there's been a number of times when I've tried to get a hunter to go the other way at one of those things. That's the first time when it's actually happened. So yeah, that was lovely. 